this video, I'm going to talk about how important it is to have a nice, obvious, strong liquidity for your daily bias or just in general. So now let's get into the video. So what do we see here on the daily chart? So we see that we have created a small inversion further gap, which is what? Which is a confirmation that price is willing to move lower. And we also see, saw the price made a close below previous day's low, confirming that price is willing to go lower. So the drawn liquidity for the next day is probably going to be previous day's low and potentially this low down here, which is a drawn liquidity. So then we can go into the lower time frame and find a trade entry based on these two lows being our drawn liquidity. Down here on the four hour time frame, we want to see a kind of confirmation that price is going to go lower, supporting the idea of these two lows being a draw on liquidity for today. So up here we see the price also created an inversion further gap. And what do we see? We see pr price rebalanced this inversion further gap and then made a nice reaction, taking out this intermediate term low. And when price takes out intermediate term lows, it gives confirmation for lower prices. So on the four hour, the idea of these two lows being a drawn liquidity is valid. So now let's go into the one hour. On here on the one hour time frame, we see that price made a market structure shift, also creating a valley gap, which price rebalanced, and now is starting to move lower. So already, if we were to take a trade entry based on previous day slow being a drawn liquidity, we could enter a right when price touches the inversion valley gap, or no, sorry, the further gap, and then target the previous day's low, or I mean the draw on liquidity. But in this case, we want to take a lower time frame trade entry and then target the previous day's low and our draw on liquidity down here. So now let's continue down into the 15 minute time frame and potentially look for a trade entry that aligns with previous day's low being our draw on liquidity or this low down here being our draw on liquidity. So what do we see down here on the 15 minute time frame? So first of all, we see that we have a breakup block right here. And we also see that price created a change in state of delivery, which could be used as a trade entry. But personally, I want to wait for the AM session in general. So in that case, we wouldn't want to take a trade entry right now. So now let's wait for the AM session. And we could just turn our indicator on to identify the AM session. So right here is the Asian session, and we see the price mostly consolidated. And here comes the London session. And we see the price failed to take out the Asian highs, so we could potentially make a SMT. And price continued down, taking out the Asian lows. So now we wait for the New York AM session. And we also see that price takes out the previous day's low outside of the New York AM session. So in that case, for the AM session, this down here will be our draw on liquidity, the low all the way down here. So now let's continue price through. So right here, we see that the AM session began. And what do we see? So we see the price made a retracement up into this order block right here, which we could potentially use as a trade entry. But in this case, price going down to the drawn liquidity that we have is mostly news driven, or in this case, 930. And what do we see? Right after, price takes out the drawn liquidity. So now let's go into the lower time frame and see if we could find any form of trade entry based on this down here being our drawn liquidity. But we saw if we were to take a trade entry on the 15 minute time frame, the, this order block right here would be our main priority. So I played price back at the AM session start. So now we want to see if price could make a trade entry or potential trade entry for us. And then this down here would be our drawn liquidity, the low all the way down here. So now let's see if price could make a potential trade entry. And this is on the one minute time frame. So we see the price created a bullish bounce price range down here, 
which we really don't want to use as a trade entry as we are mostly bearish as our drawn liquidity is lower and we also see that we have these relative or these perfect equal lows which is a very very strong drawn liquidity so this down here is a drawn liquidity and we also have the drawn liquidity down here so lower prices is now higher probability so we see the price tap up into the 15 minute order block so now we want to see lower prices and we see price tap deeper into the order block and now 930 is about to happen so we should see lower prices and right here we see the price created inversion to early gap right here which could be used as a trade entry so let's just say we're to short at this inversion to early gap but personally i don't really want to short or trade near 930. so now let's just see what would happen if we were to do it and we could just target this strong drawn liquidity that we have down here these equal lows in this case, we want to use our daily draw on liquidity. As we know, price should reach down here. So let's see if that would happen. We see that price just expanded lower, both taking out the equal lows that we have, which was a strong draw on liquidity, and now it's about to take out the draw on liquidity that we have down here. And then we see price finally comes down and takes out the draw on liquidity that we have for the daily time frame. So the equal lows really help price reaching lower, taking out the daily draw on liquidity, as the equal lows retail traders see as resistance. So the algorithm is going to target these equal lows. And we see that price did take out the equal lows and also take out the daily draw on liquidity. So that's exactly what we wanted. And we see that we could frame a trade entry based off this inversion value gap.